we're going to see right now. We've got Charlie the King versus Luna. Oh, yeah. And Luna, my personal uh, pick to go really far in this tournament just because, you know, the cloud buffs and he's a really good unranked player in oh, yeah. SoCal. So he's been he's been killing it pretty much. Yeah, so Charlie he's had a good bracket for him. So. Yeah, yeah. So Chase beat yeah. Razo. So that Chase, took, took Razo out of the way for Luna. Luna. I mean, that's definitely a matchup that Luna could win, of course. Yeah. But not even having to do it, beating Chase and then beating Paper, uh, the game we watch in order to make it in the top eight, whereas Charlie Whoa. beat Gohan in a nail biting. Yeah, yeah. A nail biting. Yeah, so uh, Charlie had a really close set, and Luna's like been having easy, breezy sets, you know. Right. So right. when you Compar go comparatively, yeah, right, right. He's like he's like getting like two O's and stuff, you know. Right. But like going into the mentality, like man, I just played a really close set. I'm going up against someone that just kind of hasn't been playing really hard sets. Who's playing more like on point, you know? Right, right. So let's, let's see. This is a really interesting match because I really want to see how uh, Luna's going to get around. The edge guards of Wolf. I, I feel like on stage, Cloud can, you know, afford to just all that nice, nice sports reaction. Yeah, you can afford to just make these air to airs with Wolf pretty well with the back is, but yeah, a little the too high on that one. Yeah, yeah. Man, you have to always uh, make sure you're snapping that up B. If you're too lazy with your recovery, a good player is going to always snipe that ledge. Yeah, especially Wolf. Like, yeah. F tilt is just so active and it just allows you to just, you know, pick people apart the ledge if the recovery is not point. Yeah, Eptil being so not committal as well, like you don't have to just time it like a, like a down smash or anything like that. You can space it pretty far away from the ledge. It's so yeah. good versus stuff. Yeah, pretty much every time that someone is off stage against Wolf, more or less, it's just an execution cheese for Wolf. Like, can you just do it right? Because otherwise, it, it's kind of out of the opponent's hands. Oh, I like the falling up right there. He's going to get clipped by the up B. Nice. Great stuff from Luna utilizing that limit up B. You know don't see it too much. You know he's used to doing up B out of shield. Yeah. He, just, he had the limit that time so he can kill. Yeah. And there's the fair into the cross. I think that's like 20 plus percent. It's kind of insane. It, yeah. does, it does 30 minutes. Ooh. Oh, nice down smash to cover that get up attack. Oh, I love the holding shield there. Charlie does not get greedy for it. He knows he's got the advantage. He doesn't have to push it too much. Mm -hmm. Bit of a trade. Luna kind of working his way back in. A couple more hits for him. Oh, uh, just calling Charlie yeah. out on that empty hop. Yeah, talking to Luna, he loves the new buffs on that up smash, having uh, much more kill power coming out much faster as well, unless in like, just makes it much uh, more viable as like an anti air. So, you know how a lot of people love to jump in on you with aerials in this game, especially Wolf with that Nair. If he sees it, he can just throw out the up smash, get a kill. Right. So, yeah, good for him to get that stock. And now, no, good job racking up for Sin as well. Yeah, Charlie's attacking the shield a lot. And the, the thing is about Wolf is most of the time, Charlie's used to being able to space fair and not get punished for it, right? But in this instance, if you space fair on Cloud Shield, he can still get you with that up beat. Oh, fair from ledge, really aggressive option from Charlie, and the that's Larry, still that's the Larry Lurd. He, he, he's incorporated the Larry Lurd into his yeah. gameplay. Yeah, both of them are getting, they both both of them go for that F throw so quick, and a lot of people just don't DI it fast enough, so they just get the pivot cancel F tilt. That or the holding in, right? Yeah. Oh, there it is again, looking for, oh, back air. It's, it's hard, it's much harder at a higher percentage to get a tech chase, because yeah, you just yeah. fly too far. I think of it like inkling forward air, right? Or forward throw, rather. Like, inklings forward throw you at higher percent and just, like, try to get a back air because they're outside of the range. Might as well go for a mix-up there. There is again, forward throw. Nice. This is the most forward throws I've ever seen from Charlie. Yeah, I'm surprised he's uh, going for them so much. Oh, it's so, so tense right now, and you thought you could space a back air, but I got a sword, bro. Yeah. Who cares about your feet, man? Exactly. He's, like, Charlie was thinking, oh, I'm going to back air here because that's the position that he wants to be in. But the reality is that Cloud does not have to push forward. He can whiff punish like that. He kind of do those fadeaway aerials. He doesn't need to put himself at risk in order to cover that space. Mm -hmm. Luna taking game one. Looking good. And it was really, like, Luna didn't really... I mean, neither of them really had any dominating moments, right? It was really ticky-tack back and yeah. forth. And, you know, the, the play is going to be who can keep advantage for long enough to just put their opponent in the blender and then take an early stop. Because no one so far has been able to do that. They're keeping up with each other really well. Yeah, I mean, outside of, like, that early flub on the first stock last game with uh, Luna's up B, he's been keeping it relatively honest, if, like, for lack of better words, you know. He's not really just getting super outplayed on stage or anything like that. They're going back and forth. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Drop shield on the last cross slash. You can parry that relatively easily. A lot of people just uh, don't hold shield now. They just don't respect the timing on doing that. But, uh... You gotta, you gotta expect that every time. Yeah. There's 
even I do that, like just up B when they're expecting like a delayed option after the cross slash. It comes out like frame seven. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely very quick. And most people, if they're not ready for it, if they're expecting to be able to punish something, it's you kind of have to treat it like Game & Watch. Everybody. You just have to understand that after Game & Watch or Cloud throws out a move, that there is going to be that secondary option. You can talk to we make a quick shout to that recovery Luna did. Just turning around his up B and snapping from under the ledge, making it actually much harder for Wolf's F-Tilt to connect. There's those type of recoveries that are going to make you come back from the stage, or from the offstage as Cloud in this matchup. Oh, I'm loving these angles because it's... Charlie's making it, he's like recovering in a way that's making it a little bit ambiguous as to how exactly he's going to get to the ledge or if he's going to go high on the stage, that kind of thing. But Luna able to snipe him out that time, takes that first stock. Yeah, he's just positioning his backers so well at these like high percent situations where you're just kind of, you're kind of both scrambling for a straight aerial to connect, right? Right, right. But you can space the backers so safely. Okay. I'm a little bit high here. He didn't use his jump early, so he can get back to the ledge director. Air dodge, really good stuff. And he still has that limit on deck. Back air dash attack. Ooh, caught the air dodge. Nice stuff. I had That's no idea exactly, that reached the platform. Yeah, I it, had no it, idea. It, the grounded hitbox uh, of the sword is just, it goes so far above Cloud. And yeah, that setup on the air dodge punish from the forward air, so good for Luna. Yeah, man. Luna's on a roll. Feels like Final Saga came early right now. That's what I said, like, in pools. <laughs> it's still here. It's That's still true. That's going to be a back for sure. All right, we are, we are going to mash this, of course. I, I, I guess he just <laughs> he didn't bother. He's going to die to the floor. Yeah, he was like, dead. I think he was dead regardless of the number of problems. Yeah. Okay. Probably not able to get anything off that first pair. Oh, yeah. uh, be out of shield. You're trying to start your combos with these falling aerials. I don't care. I got, I got this pair because you're not mixing up your timing very well, you know? But and there's I, a big back there. I love up throw there because Luna hasn't been having the best time landing. And yeah. Charlie taking advantage of that. Opting, like, before he'd been going for tech chases and whatnot, but realizing that Luna has been having a hard time landing just goes for the up throw instead. And now he's getting the ledge trap going, and he's just getting so much percent off of that one interaction. That all started from that up throw. Yeah, I like the choice of up throw as well. Just because Cloud doesn't have a lot of landing options, you know, he can jump away, he can land with a dare, but other than that, uh, Wolf can punish goes really well. But speaking of punishes, Charlie again getting greedy with that dash attack. Up B out of shield. Luna still holding on this like another up B out of shield. Doesn't matter. Trying to get these cross up aerials. My yeah. sword doesn't care. And there's this the whiff punch cross this is rough. Well. Yeah. Because Luna's playing safe. He is yeah. like, you keep trying to uh, aggress me. I'm just going to, you know, hold away. Face the sword and caught the jump with the cross slash. Charlie Ooh, that's panics. a two stock. Charlie panics. And the panic stemmed from that missing round, right? He dashed back. He knew that Luna was going to come in on him. He tried to whiff punish, but he didn't turn around. He missed the turn. As soon as he missed the turn around, it was, uh, uh, what do I do? And then he wanted to just get out of there. And it's the limit. Back. It's limit. The threat of limit. You don't want to do anything unsafe because if you do a spot dodge or a panic aerial or panic jump, he just reacts and cross slashes you. Yeah. That's what we saw. I just love the thing with Cloud. Like, I see Luna do this a lot, but they'll put your opponent, like, in a scary situation up close while they have limit, and they'll just see, what do you do? Like, what are you waiting for? You know, just put the fear in you a little bit. But, uh, yeah, great stuff. Luna up 2-0. <laughs> yeah, pretty, on Charlie. I, yeah, yeah. Who's, like, who's, like, probably number one he in is, right now. Yeah, and he's the first seed of his turn. Right is now. he? Yeah. So, yeah, Luna with a lot of proof right now. Yeah, Charlie already going to have to turn super clutch. We, we're going to need super Charlie to come out if he wants to reverse 3-0 here. Yeah. I mean, well, let's talk about Luna for a second. This yeah. is a kid who is unranked, not necessarily yeah. by lack of skill, but mostly by lack of attendance. A lack of right? attendance. Like, this guy, we know that he's that caliber. But to be able to see it so frequently, like, when he does actually show up, he always comes to play. Yeah, it's very impressive. Yep, sweet spot the ledge there. But there's the jump catch. That back air, sweet spot. Very potent, but OK. Has him at the ledge. Nice. Forward air from the ledge. Yeah, I'm wondering what Luna's going to try to do to intercept this wolf recovery. I guess he doesn't want to challenge it for threat of the, you know, the wolf flash of hitting him when he's too close. Yeah, and Ooh. I love that nair off of the first uh, off of the first hit, you know what I mean, off the fair. Just because on fastballers, it allows you to get so much more than you would normally. Whereas most wolves might go for another fair, then you can kind of only get up tilt. That way he's extends the combo a lot more. Ooh, there's you're the side gone. Beat, yeah. Who does that from Blade? That was a good mix-up, man. <laughs> that's, that, like, that's, that's one of those once-a-game things. Right? Yeah. Saved it for the last game. Who knows? That might be what he needs to close this out 3-0. Okay, Charlie's going to throw. Him. Okay, yeah, again with the up throw. Like you said, he wants to, you know, try to punch the clouds landing. 
Good down throw. Up throw, looking for a juggle. Yeah, yeah. It, it, Luna's not going to connect to anything, but he still has to hold the ledge. And there's the easy up tilt. Your invincibility's gone. Too high percent. Once you're at high percent, you cannot grab the ledge for very long at all. Yeah, so even you're, your normal get up timing is yeah. different. The invincibility lessens as you take more percent. So, you know, just having high percent being the ledge is like the absolute worst thing. Yeah. Oh, waiting for the tech chase. Doesn't react, Ooh. but he gets the fair. Oh, I'm surprised there was no was down there. Yeah, I thought it was there too. Still. Keeping up the pressure at the leg. Oh, you know he's gonna go yes, for at least Charlie. one every set. It's Charlie. <laughs> That's the Charlie, dude. Or he hit him out of the limit. Opportunity here if he can get him off stage. Tom Luna. Oh wow, he's wow. trying to get the anti-air. Oh, where we're living. Barely. Oh, can die down. here. Oh okay. yeah, get the it. downer. Close it out. As soon as he air dodged, I thought that was the prime opportunity for Charlie. But Charlie waited and got the dare anyway. So really, at the end of the day, it's just kind of like, where do you want to, where do you want to kick? Because <laughs> I, I don't even know if that would have reached. But I feel like it was, it was weird. It was kind of far away. All right, but it might have. I feel like, I feel like Charlie. Not even the dare to guarantee he's dead. It's like a confidence booster for himself. Right. I feel like he goes for plays like that because. It makes him feel more like in the game, you know. Yeah. It, like, it, like close out the two stock with authority. You know what I mean? You're down 2-0. It's time to focus up, and that's yeah. exactly what Charlie did. We're running this back to PS2 again and again and again. Luna yeah. does not care, man. I'm playing a neutral stage all day. No counterfeits. This thing, I don't think this is a neutral stage, but you know, I can get with it. It's their preference. Well, I guess neutral in terms of like not necessarily the characters, but like the players. Like right, they're, right. They're both okay with it. Yeah, right, right. That's right. Oh, ooh, Charlie looking for a bear there. Yeah, Luna comes up with the cross slash again. Charlie's now got to be like way on top of that. I love it. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, no, he got the parry after the uh, cross slash. Oh, okay. He did already have enough frame advantage to just F smash that. I wasn't, I wasn't sure if he like if Luna tried to spot that. So. Yeah. Oh, fair off the ledge. You gotta be so careful with how you're standing, like on the ledge. Like, on the ledge, on the ledge I think if you know he notices Charlie continuing going off the ledge with the fair, it might be time to have that up smash ready. If you can oh. time it correctly, but there it is, staying a little bit too close to the ledge. Get that wolf flash, man. That's like the only way that you can uh, punish forward air is with the parry and then F tilt immediately. Oh, oh caught the double limit. jump. Limits gone, and so is that stock. Damn. He knew exactly what angle he was going to go on that up B. Perfect spacing for Charlie. Now he's got a two, three to one stock lead right here. And he had mix ups there, right? Like yeah. he could have up beat a couple of different directions, but Charlie was all over. Oh. <gasps> Saw that sour spot back there, and I thought another side B was coming, but Charlie looking like he wants to close out this last stock really dominantly. But there's the back there. Okay. He's fighting, fighting to get that wolf yeah. off of his back, man. Charlie's going very aggressive. Ooh. The wind is like all up in Charlie. Oh. He's not gonna kill. No way. Not gonna okay. kill, but look where he's at off stage. Nice. I love to give the reverse cross slash to get back. He stalled with the first. Oh. No way. Dang, dude. just caught up the jump. Yeah. Raw, dude. Yeah. That was raw. I know you're gonna jump. Just go, yeah. go into my side. Dude. But yeah, he died. But again, I love Luna's uh, stall cross slash one, double jump towards the inside of the stage reverse, reverse up, up the. That's like such a good. Uh, cloud recovery. Yeah, it's great coverage, but the, the thing is against Wolf is like if you don't space that perfectly, he can kind of snipe your mm -hmm. head a little bit. Exactly. Whereas, whereas if you stay a little bit further away, sometimes you can just space the forward yeah. tilt, so it's really just a mix up. Still, Charlie, man. Great stuff bringing this to game five, dude. Yeah. He's turned it up for real, man. He wants these flights, man. The winner of this tournament gets Tony. three flights. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. And they're both on, like, well, both unsponsored, I say. Yeah. So like, they could take so much opportunity if they were, you know, able to get flown out. Yes, yeah, for those uninitiated, the tournaments that they would be flown out to are there's four of them technically, but one of them only relevant for uh, stuff like, you know, Chili Chili in particular is the only person who would really want to fight to Final Saga. Right. Charlie's not flying up to Final Saga. <laughs> you know what I mean? But Final Saga, Collision, Cost, and. Uh, Ooh. He's only where he's flying is to that black, the back of that blast zone. I think man. he wanted a side B there. Yeah, um, I can, I couldn't tell you what buttons he was trying yeah. to press there. That was a very unquestionable recovery for Charlie. And like SDing on that first stock like that versus player like Luna, like he lives for this. You're behind. You're trying to press these aerials on my shield. Three up B, but oh, we're living. Okay. Not and he's got the He's got to use it though. Oh wow! That had that much delay it on the really get up does. attack. It really he does. could do a sh an ultimate shield drop and down smash it. <laughs> That's like, a, that, what frame does down smash come up? Because it's plus three on that. That's hard, man. 
still, Charlie's got to make something happen here. Trying to, oh, the Nair sending him the other way, so he's going to get a tech chase. I thought he would try to get something to send Cloud off stage there, but still fighting in the center. I have Smash out shield. Luna getting a little bit too happy with the up yeah. right now. The shield is crying right now, though. Oh, yeah. Charlie needs to take advantage status. so that he can chill. Oh, the limit's gone. Oh, that might be what costs him this stock. Luna did not He that. buffered. Yeah, he buffered the limit out of something. But oh my goodness, the up smash mix up out of the delayed cross slash one, two. It's game five, last stock. What's going to happen? This is just the first match topic. And the momentum feels oh. like it's still it can, not really in anybody's Yeah, favor. it can go either way, man. And back Luna's, here. Luna's taking it right now. Yeah, he's back across. That adds corner. up. Oh, caught the jump. Oh, he's out of here. That's it. Luna with the JV on Charlie. Charlie's in.